Hey everybody, welcome to this quick tutorial on list comprehension and how you can do it in Python. List comprehension is actually really cool because it makes making a list a lot easier than if you were to do it a variety of different ways such as entering it manually or using a for loop. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm just gonna kinda of explain what list comprehension is and then as well how you can go about using list comprehension and creating lists from list comprehension. So to jump into it, let's just give out a hypothetical here. Let's say we have two lists and in these two lists we have list one is just a list of numbers. So we'll say list one equals, and this is just a list of let's say one to 10. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And say we wanted to create a list of, a, we just wanted to create a different list where we wanted to only have all the numbers that are divisible by two. I mean, there's a plethora of different ways we could do this. If we were, I mean, we could just manually enter it where we only have 10. We just obviously know that two, four, six, eight, ten 10 are all divisible by two. Um, but if we have a big list and we have a lot of numbers, then that's going to be really hard to do. It's going to be a, take a lot of time. Um, as well, what we can do, we can actually use a for loop to do this. So I'll show you the for loop way, and then we can jump into how to do it with list comprehension. Then I'll dive into kind of the basics of list comprehension. So if we were to do this with a for loop, so first we would have to create the list. So we'll say list underscore two equals and it's just an empty bracket. So doing this with the for loop, we would say for item in the list underscore one, and then we would say if item modulus two is equal to zero, then we want to do list underscore two dot append item. So if we print list two now, it should have two, four, six, eight, and 10. So as we can see, the problem with this is that this is a lot of lines of code. I mean, it's three lines of code just to do one thing, which is create a list. Actually, if you count this up here, it's four lines of code just to create this list too. So list comprehension makes it so that we can actually do this for loop inside of a list to make it so that it's just one line of code. It's clean code, it's super easy to read as well, and it's kind of best practice to use list comprehension. So another way that we could do this, we could just, when we say list underscore two, so let's act like we're creating the list for the first time, what we could do is we could just plug all of this information inside the brackets. So we can say item for item in list underscore one, if item modulus two is equal to zero. So that's how we would do it. And then we can say print list two, and we get the same result. So obviously this is a lot quicker and a lot easier to understand, and it's better code, honestly. So the syntax for this is actually pretty simple. When we're wanting to create a new list, we just say new underscore list equals, inside the brackets, we're gonna put expression for item in iterable if condition is equal to true. So in this little syntax right here, new list is obviously the name of our list that we're creating. Expression is what we're going to be putting into the list. So in this instance, we are putting an item which represented these numbers right here. You could actually switch this if you wanted it to be a string. It could be a string. It could be some, it could be basically anything you wanted it to be. Item is going to be the item in our iterable. So like a for loop, we're saying for items, so we're saying for each item in our list, and it's the same thing here. So for each item in our iterable, which can be a list, can be a range of some sort, it can be whatever you're iterating over. And then the last part is the if condition is equal to true. So the condition part is not necessary. You technically don't need to say if condition is equal to something. Up here we said if item is equal to zero. So it said if condition is equal to true. So it only put in these items that have a remainder of zero when dividing by two, or just basically they're divisible by two. So that's kind of 
the basics of list comprehension, we can just throw, I don't worry about that. I never defined any of that. But basically we can just throw a couple more examples. If we want to, we can say list underscore three. If we want to just create a quick list of numbers, we can say list three equals X for X in range zero to 10. So this is gonna give us a list of all numbers from zero to nine. And then we can say list underscore three. As you can see, we have zero, one, two, three, all the way up to nine. Another example is that we can actually replace what's in the list by using list comprehension. So say we had list three, we wanted to switch these out to be some sort of string. So we'll switch out everything to be X. So we could say list underscore three equals X four X in list underscore three. And it should change everything from numbers to just the letter X. So that is kind of some basic syntax on list comprehensions and a quick overview. Hopefully this helped you understand list comprehension a little bit more. I like to think of it just basically taking the for loop and putting it inside of a list. It makes it a lot easier. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing list comprehensions until you can grasp the concept of a for loop. But once you understand a for loop, list comprehension is probably one of the best ways to create lists and create quicker and cleaner code. You can also use list comprehension to create data frame columns. Once you get into using pandas, you can create a new data frame by using a list comprehension. So say list three was our data frame name. We could actually create a data frame of all these X's or if we did all the numbers by using list comprehension. So it makes it really quick. Um, really easy as well to use and understand. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, leave a like on this video, and I will catch you in the next one.